this is a short video on how to make a sticky side tab in Elementor so that when you scroll up and down the page the sticky side tab will stay where it is and when you click on it it will go off to the page or the pop-up that you want it to. This tutorial is brought to you from Affinity Hosting where you can get 12 months WordPress hosting for just £1 using discount code £1 all uppercase this offer may expire. So we're going to add the button into the header of the website and this will make sure that the button shows on all the pages. So we're going to add a full width column and we're going to put a button in it. We're going to justify the button right and we're going to link it to our contact page. Once we've done that we can style the button as we would normally. I'm going to add a gradient and I'm going to use a couple of my default colors so you can see now that the button has taken on the look and feel of the website. Need to add the border radius so we're unlinking the values adding 20 to the top and the right and padding we're going to unlink the values again and add 20, 20, 50 and 20 and update that. I've selected uh, that when somebody hovers on it it should grow so we can save that and now we want to add a class to the button so that we can manipulate it. So under advanced under CSS classes I'm going to add rotate all in lowercase gonna save that and then in the custom C CSS I'm going to add a little snippet of code which you'll see makes the button disappear but this isn't a worry okay just update it and what we're going to do is we're now going to position where this button actually is and you can see the two sort of straight lines here that pretty much means that what we've done is we've taken that whole field and we've made it vertical we're going to stay on the advanced field and we're going to hit the positioning field we're going to select fixed and in this section we're going to right justify it we're going to choose VW and we're going to set that at minus 49 vertical orientation we're going to select VH and we're going to select 39 from the bottom once we've selected the fixed position and justified the positioning to the right hand side using the slider option we can start to get the button into view depending on where you have selected to measure from top or bottom uh, you'll you'll have a different um, you'll, you'll have to slide the, the slider a different way so I've gone from the top so I've selected what 120 and the offset I'm going to select as 49 so you can now see that this is where the button is when you hover over it it grows which is just what you want I do quite a lot of updating so that it saves what it is and for all intensive purposes it's as simple as that what we're going to do now is we're going to view the page go to the home button and now you can see that up and down our button stays where it is and if we click on it it goes across to our contact page this isn't a perfect solution but with a few different tweaks pretty much of what I've shown you it's an out-of-the-box solution using Elementor and Elementor Pro